We gonna play now, ready for the show. I'm about to take down you already. Hey everyone, how are you all? Hope that you guys are absolutely fine. So my name is Seth and welcome back to my channel which is Seth Gaming Reviews. So guys, this is for you all. GTA 5, GTA 5, GTA 5, GTA 5, GTA 6. And guys, if you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe. And I put the videos in gaming related videos. So guys, like, share and comment. So if you enjoy the video, enjoy the video. Bye everyone, have a nice day. Hey man, it's a meme, what's your motherfucking essays right behind you? Whoa, that was quick. All right, help me deal with this. I'll give it a go, man. Keep trying. We can handle this, right? Screw up. Yeah, my nigga, that's it. All right, let's go back home. Wow, shit. You did good. I mean, I don't know if you hit anyone because your aim's all over the place, but I appreciate the backup. Whew. Hey. Thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh shit, I think we're about to find out. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? No. Do you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. No. Franklin. Maybe help Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now maybe give him a little of a background. Man, Mr. Madrazo. It... Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican-American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, I've got a question for you. What did you prove an architectural, significant, modernist, wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills? I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> I wasn't thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. <sighs> well, Natalia will need a hotel while you finance the rebuilds, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range. <laughs> Of course. Great. That's nice. Come on, man. Damn, you all right? Never better. So what now? Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, dog. Really? 
Because I keep hearing a math for like this, a cop that. Go away. What? You know, go watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you. What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole. I can't believe you did that. That's my TV. You don't talk to me like that. I can't believe you. Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole. Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want, to be hit by your son? Yeah. No. I just want you to do something. Besides, sit there, eating. Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah, well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Hey, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Uh, bike ride, then. Bike ride? You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. A bike ride along the Spucci Beach? Oh. Okay, Dad, I got just the thing to show you. Oh. Help me! This day was going so well until you showed up, you know that? Oh. You're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat stuck. You're driving like a psychopath, Michael! Do you realize that? Or are you so high on your own outmoded sense of masculinity that you think this is normal? Shut your pie hole. I think we'll both be happier if we can spend as little time in the vehicle as possible. God! You think I've got learning difficulties, huh? Take a good long look in the mirror, pal. I'm not the one who doesn't respect my fellow human beings. No, not unless they're a spick or a Jew boy or an ass munching homo. Oh, there was me thinking there's a difference between witty banter arising from a sense of competition. Witty? Really? And mowing someone down in the street? Hey, I never said you had learning difficulties, Jim. Well, I do, and you never cared. I just said that Dr. Freelander thought that maybe you had problems relating to people. <laughs> Relate to my asshole, old man. Here we are, at the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. Life better get me in! Ah! Hey, you! Two bikes. Take your pick. I'll take this one. Hey. If I beat you to the end of the pier, like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, 
Good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs? This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck! Ah! Dad, wait! Shit, shit, shit. Take me out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? Your house? Yeah. Man, you got a killer pad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Let's go. <laughs> Those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey! No! Hey! Shit, hey, cool, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey! Oh, hey. Oh, oh, man! Oh. I like him! What's the problem? You're such a jerk! Come on! Dad, you dumbass! These guys are serious! Yeah, well, so am I! Who's to the scene of my fucking boat? Oh, motherfuckers! Get on! Now! I'm about to skin you alive! God damn it! Go! Shit! They're coming after us! Go into that outlet! Ass off, or my dad will like cap Oh my god! Did you just kill him? Maybe he's just injured! Just calm down. I did what I had to do. Let me take you back to your brother. There he is. Give me you, stay back. Oh, ah! Listen, he, he's the fucking asshole, okay? He smashed my TV and he took me to the beach. The beach with my skin. So what, you send him out to spoil my day too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes and he just went. I'm getting a cab. Coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. Lester, you gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're gonna make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done, you need to know something, so why not help each other? 
I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Well, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. I heard him say that he saved America. What, by but... outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. The hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism. And brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. <laughs> oh, we gonna play now, ready for the show. I'm about to take down, you already know. Get the fuck out of my face now, yeah, you gotta go.